Rosemary is a bona fide superfood. And because of that, we need to find more ways to incorporate rosemary more often. We need to incorporate rosemary however we can. We need to eat it. We need to drink it. We need to sniff it. We need to have it as an aroma in our home. Rosemary is an amazing bona fide superfood. If you are new to the channel, I'm Pam. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming and spending time with me. This is where we talk about everything, tips, tricks, and hacks for container gardens and growing in small spaces. And today, we're gonna to be talking about rosemary. I love, love, love herbs, and it's one of the main things that I grow in my garden, but rosemary, oh my God. Not only is it a bona fide superfood, but it's an evergreen. So chances are it will grow and last wherever you are. Did you know that rosemary reduces inflammation and pain in your body? It also protects the brain. Our memory, come on now, we all need that, especially as we begin to age. It has been known to protect the brain from neurodegenerative conditions. And it's also known to relieve the symptoms of anxiety. Okay, so it's a calm, it has a calming effect as well. Now I cook with rosemary all the time, but it is extremely important that you make sure you start cooking with rosemary too. Because when you cook with rosemary, you're actually exposing yourself to the aroma of it. You get to smell it. Remember in the beginning, I said sniff it. It's not all just taking the rosemary and sniffing it. But when you cook with it, your whole house can fill with the aroma of rosemary. Because that aroma is what also helps with your memory. When you cook with rosemary, it also helps to protect your food from oxidative stress and free radicals. And that's something that naturally happens when we cook. Let's go over here and take a look at some rosemary. Now, this is my rosemary and I've been harvesting off of it all year. I come out here and I get some, I keep some that's dehydrated. I actually make some into powder. And then I come when I want a cup of tea or something, I just come out here and snip some off and grab me some for some tea or something like that. Just like that. It's real, real hearty. Now I actually have this in my container with sage because sage grows very, very well with rosemary. Next year, I think I'm going to put my rosemary, which I had originally, in a pot all by itself and I sat it near my sage and other herbs because I want more of it next year. Uh, you can also take this rosemary, you can extract the rosemary and use the oils from it for different things as well. This is rosemary and it is, mm, it smells so amazing. You can also just use this um, like air freshener. I've literally taken this and I've put it in a pot of water Hmm, and boil it and just have the aroma going on in my room or in the area that I am or in my kitchen or, you know, if you let it boil long enough and then let it come to a simmer and just leave it on your stove simmering for a while and just keep smelling that aroma all day long. You would not believe how it can help with becoming calm and things like that. So what other ways can we use Rosemary. Well, we can make tea out of rosemary. It's as simple as steeping some rosemary. You can just take this and boil you some water, put this in a cup. Of course, I'd probably break it in half or something like that. Put this in a cup, pour your hot water on it, maybe add a little lemon, a little, a little honey if you like, and just let it steep for about five minutes. Let all that goodness from this rosemary enter into your tea and you can drink it that way. That's one of my favorite ways to do it. Just sip on the tea. It's just amazing cooking with it. One thing you can do is add it to your sauteed vegetables. 
take this just like this. Now, if you don't want to have it where you're actually eating it with it, you can take maybe, I would take probably, depending on how many vegetables I have, like maybe four sprigs like this, and you can tie them together with some kitchen twine, tie them together, and just put them in there and rotate, saute them with your vegetables. Even if you're putting your vegetables in the oven, you can do the same thing. If I was putting it in the oven, I probably wouldn't tie it together. I would just take pieces and lay it in different sections because when you're sauteing, you're constantly kind of stirring it and moving it around. So your rosemary bundle will get an actual opportunity to um, go all around the pot and incorporate with your vegetables. Whereas when you're in the oven, you may go in and stir them up once or something like that, but you want the oils and the scents and the aromas to come out of it. So I would just put several pieces throughout it and then in the end i would go back and pick it out rosemary oh my goodness is amazing when it comes to basting our proteins steaks chicken even fish a lot of people don't think about it when it comes to fish and chicken people think that okay put some it's well known garlic rosemary butter and baste your steak with it if you're having steak but you can do the same thing with chicken. You can do the same thing with um, fish. I've even basted eggs with it. It is amazing because of the health benefits and the flavor that it provides. And yes, these can be these can be very woody. So sometimes you may not want to eat it, but you can just have all of the oils and everything release from it, and that's just as good as if you're you're actually eating it. Yes. You will be amazed if you put a little butter in your skillet and drop a sprig or two in there and just baste your eggs. I do that when I'm frying an egg. I like to personally, I like to fry an egg, yolk, bust it and baste it. Flip it over and baste it with rosemary and butter. The flavor is just amazing. And like I mentioned before, teas are good. Now, I dehydrate some of my herbs. I don't do um, herbs, rosemary. I don't do anything but wash it off, put it in my dehydrator, and let it dry out. Then I'll take a small coffee grinder and grind it up. Uh, when I do that, I typically like to grind it into more of a powder form as far down as I can get it. And then I incorporate it into soups and stews and things like that. And it only takes maybe like a spoonful, a teaspoonful. It's very potent and it's very strong. Also, if you do dehydrate it like that, keep in mind that it will change the color of whatever you're cooking with. So I like to put it in soups and stews where I have more of a gravy based or a brown based because this green, once dehydrated, and powdered will be brown. And if you put it in something that's very light, you're gonna have a muddled kind of brown color food. So you might wanna use it in red stews, like tomato soup or something like that. Put just a teaspoon in your tomato soup and stir that around. Amazing, 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 amazing. And another thing rosemary is good for, if you burn anything, anything, okay? <laughs> it creates toxins. And rosemary can actually reduce your risk of exposure to those toxins, okay? We need to incorporate rosemary because it is a bona fide superfood. Ooh, it is, it's a bona fide superfood, a bona fide super herb, okay? It is amazing, yes. So grab you some rosemary grow you some rosemary all right it's very easy to grow it doesn't require a lot i've always grown it in containers it's not evasive so whatever you plant that's what you're going to have it's not going to spread like wildflowers or anything like that uh okay if you are new to the channel welcome 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 thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me again here in my garden for my returning subscribers thank you so much for coming back and enjoying this time with me in my garden. I really do appreciate you all. And for my channel members, thank you so much for your loyal, faithful support. And if you are not a part of the Scaredy Cat Crew, what are you waiting for? Come on over and join us at the Scaredy Cat Crew. I'm Pam, this is Zone 8A. And anywhere you can sit a pot, you can grow a plant.